With rugged mountains and gusting winds, the roof of the world boasts stunning natural beauty. More importantly, a third of humanity live along Asia's mighty river systems that are fed by the plateau's glaciers. Most of the rivers start with glaciers, and all those glaciers are shrinking. And uh, same thing is happening in the Himalayas. And then as I traveled across China, it didn't matter whether you were in the east or in the west, you know, the national bird is the construction crane on every city. And you're looking at all these buildings going up and thinking, where's the power going to come to maintain this? And of course, coal. And of course, coal produces CO2. Before most Chinese and Indians have the opportunity to emulate the Western way of life, the plateau and its ecosystem will have to face a pressing challenge. The plateau is already sounding a warning siren for the future of the planet's climate. The general trend is warming, and everything is drier as a result. I cannot say exactly why, but I think global climate change is the driving force. Sometimes when we talk about climate change, we talk more about temperature. You know, three degrees warmer, that will be tough, and, and there will be extreme heat waves and things like that. But if you don't have water, that's the essence of life. People have to migrate, and there's unrest that comes with that. And so when I look at these mountain glaciers, I'm more and more concerned that what is happening to them is much more rapid than any of our models would, would suggest. And of course, short term, that means more water. But there's a threshold out there that we will cross, and it'll be an abrupt change where the size of the glacier is so small that it no longer uh, is a big contributor of water in the rivers. So we hope that you will stay with us and enjoy the historic interactive images of glaciers on the Tibetan Plateau, which will show you in the most graphic way how things have changed.